Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. This week I'm working on a bit of a copycat version of a pour I worked on about three weeks ago or so, give or take. And it is a four color swipe with my base color Amsterdam Black, Oxide Black actually, as well as a nice pretty crimson, a new to me blue, as well as a light blue violet. And now after my base black went down, there was quite a bit of paint there, probably about 10 or 12 ounces roughly. I wanted to make sure there was plenty of coverage, but also even out the paint as best I could without tipping it over the sides for my first tilts. So here I'm just again leveling out the black altogether to see what um, I can do with my color. Okay, now as my black levels out here, I was very happy with that base coat. So Puck popping my air bubbles, which tend to give us some grief later on with my heat gun, and uh, just creates less pinholes for later. Okay, and here we are going into some color with this first little blue here in my very first corner. Now this is by Liquitex, and all my colors are by Liquitex, aside from the Amsterdam Black Oxide as my base. And I'm going for the same color pattern as I used again about three or four weeks ago on a very similar pour, looking for a bit of a diptych look for a second pairing of this pour. So again, here's my light violet, light violet blue, sorry. And um, this color is very pretty, I really enjoy it. And Liquitex as a brand, uh, as a whole, I really enjoy because the paint really mixes well with whether it's Floetrol or a pouring medium mixes it very well. And lastly, here's my crimson red I'm going in for my last color and we'll see how this shakes out. Okay, and as we finish up with my crimson here, I'm very curious before we get into my swipes on what brands do you guys enjoy using most? I use Liquitex Amsterdam and I veered away from Artist Loft not that it's bad, but that I find that Liquitex works a bit better for me, as well as Amsterdam. And I'm in love with their pearls, by the way. So uh, let me know in the comments below on what your brands are. I'm very curious. Now, as for this first swipe, I was very happy with how this went because in my last attempt on this pattern exactly, I had a very um, poor reaction to my cell activator. And in this case, was quite happy with it. Now. On the second pass here, I went over the first pass because I wasn't happy with how well my color swiped through. So I decided a second go was best for this pour altogether and it uh, looks great from here. So here is my third swipe and I found that this lacing looked really good. I think I've learned a lesson for base colors and how much black in this case I needed to make a nice um, bright white pop. So. Here we go into for my fourth swipe in the opposite direction, which worked out just fine. I wanted to spread the color both ways and get coverage on each side. Okay, now as for this last swipe, I decided to go into the middle of the painting again because the third swipe is gonna fall off the side of the canvas when I begin to tilt, and I want as much color in that painting as possible. So I decided to go back towards the middle. Now in my top corner though, I thought, well, this looks awfully black and I want to try to make again, it pop with, with as much color as possible, going with the same color pattern as in the corner to begin with, but just a smaller little um, pocket of color there. Okay, now as a very brief observation to this pour, but also my past couple pours, I've made a very subtle adjustment to my cell activator, as well as my ratios for both my paint and my medium going into my, my paints. That the lacing I'm making now is way more crisp and much more white on top of a black base. So shout out to Molly from Molly's Artistry, who is a very great teacher and uh, put out a very great course on swipes specifically in the past few weeks which of course I did purchase myself too. So if you have a chance, check out Molly's uh, page for more details and I'm sure she'll be able to give you a hand with her swipes going forward. And now as a very uh, brief disclaimer, I am not sponsored by Molly's. So this is simply my feedback to you 
on my opinion of Molly's courses and how well she teaches. So um, take it for what it is. I think she's great and my swipes have improved, we'll call it by 35% in the past couple weeks. So anyway, check her out on her page. She'll be uh, glad to give you a hand with any courses you may be interested in. Check it out. And as we get back into my pour, here we go on some tilts. Now, I was incredibly happy with how this color shook out in comparison to my last pour, as well as my lacing. So I did my best to keep as much of that beautiful white lacing on my canvas as possible. And also that crimson, it's a very pretty color. It's very subtle, but was a very good addition to the blue and light violet I used for this pour. And now I've also been doing a better job, we'll call it, at making sure that my paint is as centered as possible before going to the next corner. Now, I knew that I didn't have a ton of color to play with on top of my black on this canvas, but I wanted to try to get as much in that corner as possible before bringing it back into the center and then down towards myself on the video in the top right corner towards my white glove there. So um, again, wanting to take your time, just be cautious with what paint you have and knowing your limitations on how much you can stretch a nice lacing out uh, before it had become distorted. So you can just be aware and just know that, you know, nothing is needed to be rushed. You can always slow down and make sure your pores come out as gorgeous as you had hoped for. Okay, and as for all of you who may have seen my last video with this particular pattern specifically that um, checked it out, what do you think in comparison to that video, um, the differences between this pour and that pour? Which one is better to you or which one do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. I would love any feedback you guys give me. It's always appreciated. But as I wrap up my tilts here, I was quite happy with how the color patterns um, wound up all together because the blue and the violet worked real well together and the crimson gave it that extra little oomph at the end before getting into my white lacing which I was really really excited about overall. So here is the painting as we're all wrapping it up and going in with some bit of an overhead look at the lacing and cells is created. It was really cool to see all this nice white lacing and cells with the addition of the blue lacing in the bottom corner as well. So I tried to do my best to make this a second piece for a diptych pattern or diptych uh, set for each piece of this particular color combination and really loved how this one came out a little more than the last. So that's my opinion for what it's worth. I also really like this crimson lacing that popped through in the black kind of negative space here at the top is very, very pretty. And so this was a great, a really, really fun pour. I enjoyed it. And if you have enjoyed it too, I appreciate you being here for the entire time. In the meantime, thanks again for being here and check out this next playlist in the top corner and we will see you again in the next one.